Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some The Sims 4. The game just came out, we've not had a chance yet to even figure out what's different, but we're going to dive in and play right away. I've created a family that we're going to move in. We'll go ahead and, uh, well, I'll show you the cast of our show. Now, one of the unfortunate drawbacks to playing The Sims 4 for YouTube is that you'll notice there's no music in-game, and that is because it gets flagged by the YouTube uh, content ID system. Well, let's take a look at the cast of the show. Bernala. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, already being a gregarious bastard. Jeff Worthington, who is a, a party animal. He is gregarious, a romantic, snobbish, outgoing character. I have a feeling that with his fancy outfit here, he's going to be the life of the party. We've got Raj Baldwin. A mm -hmm. little bit insecure. A little tiny bit of pudge on him already because he's going to be a cooking type character. He's a foodie, a goofball, and he's a bit clumsy. We've got this guy, who, uh, Dawson Berg, he's got the wolf shirt, the, the biggest belly of them all. He is a computer whiz, a quick learner, he is evil, insane, and a geek. Now, don't ask me why I lumped those categories or those traits together, it just seemed like it'd be kind of fun. Also, these characters were pretty much randomly generated. The only thing I really modified was Natalie Martin. She'll be wearing a wedding dress. This is what I, it's a wedding dress in my eyes. She'll wear that all the time because she is a flirt. She is a serial romantic. She's alluring, materialistic, non-committal, and she is mean. So hopefully what we'll see is all three of the men of the household trying to flirt with Natalie, and she'll just be mean to them. Now, again, I don't think that that's what all women are like or anything like that. I just think it'll make for entertainment. We'll have some fun stuff happen, and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's pick a plot, or a lot, and... Uh, We'll do that. We'll move in the Wellington or Worthington family. Let's, uh, let's use this one. And we'll choose the, the Nookstone house. Now, because they're not married and we only have one bed, we're going to have some issues, I think, at the beginning of the game. And that's okay. But we'll dive in and see how it goes. It always references boosting bloom. All right, sweet. So here we are. We've got um, we've got this little tiny brook that goes by, and uh, here's our dudes. They're gonna move in. They have no room to sleep. We have one bed. This is not gonna be easy for uh, for them to have interactions. We'll probably play on speed two most of the time. And here's the thing: when I play The Sims, I usually like to let them do mostly whatever they want, and I just like to laugh at all the weird, random stuff that they do. It's kind of kind of interesting to just see how they develop relationships. This is hilarious already. The men are all hanging out in the bedroom while Natalie is off on her own. One thing I think we will do is lower that game volume just a bit. That music is way too loud. We'll lower the master volume directly, actually. That'll work out. Okay. So, acquire the comedy skill. Dawson's new skill in comedy allows him to tell jokes on a microphone and write jokes on a computer. Very nice, Dawson. Dawson, the uh, the lunatic. He can talk to himself, I, I read somewhere. <laughs> okay. I love the way that they talk. They just sound so... Oh, she, she took the bed. She took the bed. Here, you can... Why don't you try to join her? Um, let's grab our friend Raj here. Join her. Just, just sleep in the bed. Share it. It's fine. She won't mind. Oh, she changed out of her, uh, out of her wedding dress. Well, we should probably start off by getting some people some jobs. Um, everyone has a cell phone now, which is kind of nice. You don't actually have to put a phone down. I wonder if we like this viewing angle. Maybe we should change it up a bit. Of course, that is the center or the front of the lot. It's like a changing thing here. <laughs> She's talking about tanks? Okay. Give fake bad news. What are you doing over here, guys? Are you you're sleeping on the bench? Okay, we should probably buy a bed. Can we could we just buy a bed and throw it throw it down anywhere. We probably will have to do that. Um relax. I could tell them to not relax. Well, let's go to the build menu. Now, the tutorial in this game kind of just you can't skip it, and it just constantly is bothering me about stuff that is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, we will go to the... 
um, sort objects by by room or by function rather we'll go to beds we'll go to beds and we'll buy an anti-goblin bed by kinder by, by kinder made it it's uncomfortable for adults so we should probably not do that let's at least pick something that's like marginally okay i mean we don't have very much money like 13 grand which um you know could be better the utopia energy five stress relief three discomfort relief three Will we, could we get more of these things? I mean, how many of these things do we actually have to... Well, we should really get a single. Discretion single bed system. Discomfort relief four. It's actually better. All right, bunk mates. We'll throw down like three of these things right in the middle of the house because that's what we have to do. And then again, of course, we have to get them jobs. So Kevin... Or not Kevin. <laughs> I've been playing too much RimWorld. Talk to self. Talk to yourself, Kevin. I think that's great. Uh, let's see. Shortcut keys needs are hidden under here under O. We need to get Raj cooking some things. So Raj, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. You're hungry too. Uh, why don't you go and cook? Cook some grilled cheese, man. Do a family size. That'd be great. And I'm so used to clicking on units to select them. I've got to get used to not doing that. Okay, so you want to buy a computer. And you want to make an enemy because you're evil. Well, that's that's hilarious and great. Um, let's select you and then have you find yourself a job. He's calling somebody in the middle of the night. What time is it? It's one in the morning. He's hanging out, talking to himself. He's going to find himself a job on his phone. How oh, lovely. Select a career for Dawson. Well, considering he is a tech guy, we should make him a tech guru, probably. Now hiring live chat support agent. <laughs> so he's going to be insane, and uh, he's perfect for the job. He's now a live chat support agent at Bridgeport Software. Why are you sleeping out here? That's just silly. Um, let's, let's wake you up from your nap. You need to go home, Natalie. Stop hanging out on that bench. <laughs> He's already failing to flirt. Or something. She wants to kiss someone. Okay, uh, well, why don't you just go kiss... Uh, try, to, try to kiss him. We'll go. More choices. Romantic. Can we just can we just dive right into a kiss? No. Um, mean. Imply mother is a llama. Insult. Jeer. Mock his outfit or yell at him. Well, let's not interfere too much. We got the beds. I think they all need jobs first. What do you think that Natalie here would be good at? I wonder. Come on home. Come on home, Jeff Worthington. Select a career for Natalie. So, all right. Natalie, I've already forgotten. She's kind of a, what, what is her deal? She's not going to be culinary, tech guru, secret agent, painter, entertainer, writer, secret agent, live life unnoticed as a covert operative. Yeah, totally. That sounds like her. Why not? Jeff Worthington, you need to find a job. As does Raj. Actually, we could just let Raj uh, be a stay-at-home cook. I suppose three people would be enough to support a household like this. Select a career for Jeff. You are going to be an entertainer. For sure. Jeff is now an amateur entertainer at The Cellar. He starts Tuesday at 9 a.m. It's Monday right now, so... He's got about a day off. Raj, I thought I told you to wake up and go and cook some damn mac and cheese. Or something. Did he just ignore me and just keep sleeping? Wake the hell up. Get up. I know it's only 3 in the morning, but you need to go cook. It's important to make grilled cheese for everyone. People are hungry, Raj. Alright. Oh, nice. He got 25 of those things. He wants to be mischievous. For being a goofball. Casual discussion. Dawson is embarrassed. Shocking. So, okay, let's see if we can figure out how to use this. Relationships menu. 
We can see their status. Relationship acquaintances. So they've all just met. It's like it's like an episode of um what's it called? Real world. Just take random people, throw them into a house together, and see what happens. Meanwhile. <laughs> Dawson just did something? I, I missed it. Raj has reached level two of the cooking skill. Oh, he he did make grilled cheese earlier. Quality is excellent. Well, good work, Raj. Look at that, it's, it's shining. Evil lesson. Dawson is evil. Evil sims become happy from the misery of others and have a variety of ways to accomplish this. Yes, okay, so I'm still getting little bits of tutorial here. She's sleeping in her wedding dress. So he is happy near misery. Evil sims greatly enjoy reveling in the misery of others. For just a few more in-game minutes, he is happy because somebody was really upset. A day in the life of the real world. We should just call this the real world. I wish they would, like, can we assign them beds? Stop sleeping in each other's beds, it's kind of weird. Ha <laughs> Well, let's take a look at uh, live chat support agent starts in two days. All right. So yeah, the only one that doesn't have a job is Raj. I guess he could get a job. He doesn't. He doesn't need to be a stay-at-home dude. Well, I mean, we'll get him a culinary job naturally. That's fitting, right? Ooh, these two are off to a hot start. Not fighting or not doing well. Can we have her do something fun? Why don't you, um... Well, everyone, everyone else is asleep, so I guess you gotta talk to Raj. Mock his outfit. Make fun of him. Seems like a perfectly reasonable thing for you to do, Natalie. <laughs> God, that laugh. That's wonderful. So most people that I've read about online so far have basically said that The Sims 4 is essentially a, a like an improved version of Sims 3, better graphics, and then they've they've added this whole moodlet thing to the game. Here's interesting. Natalie's new skill in cooking has allowed her to prepare delicious, straightforward classics. We got like a skills list. Of course Raj is going to be better at that. He's already at level 2. You know what we should do? I think we should hire a service. You should definitely hire maids, because sims are notoriously bad. A one-time maid or a scheduled maid. $40 plus $20 an hour. Sounds great. I've never once had sims that do a really good job of taking care of themselves. They're just slobs. <laughs> Can you imagine me, the guy who did like the sound? The, uh, the voice recordings for these characters. It's like a whole language that they had to record. I mean, it just seems to be going back to speed one. I'm not sure what I'm doing that's making that happen. Alright, we can go to careers. Work in three days. Work in 22 hours. So no one has a job for a whole day. We'll just play on speed three then. He's gonna go chat with Raj. Oh, what's he doing? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Kevin's doing... Or not Kevin. I need to stop calling him Kevin. I'm thinking he's Kevin because he's a bit pudgy. Um, he is doing a... He's gonna go insult Raj. For fun. Hey, what's up, dude? You're ugly. I mean, we could, we could try to make them uh, behave well and all work as a cohesive unit, but where's the fun in that? Meanwhile, there's grilled cheese. It's gonna spoil in five hours. That's pretty cool how it keeps track of every single item. Every now and then you might notice a little sniffle here. I apologize, I am a bit under the weather. What are you doing? Oh man. He's angry. Aggravating conversation, feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. They're both upset. 
He's inspired to cook. Look at that. One of them actually took out some garbage. Or is that the maid? It must be the maid. Jeremiah Matson. Is that who you are? Energized. Ooh. Joyful mean spiritedness. Mean Sims delight in being nasty to others. So she's woken up energized and she's like, I want to go be mean. Let's go be mean to somebody. She's also got this very interesting walk. <laughs> We should make the house bigger. We need more money for that. They're going to spend all their money on grilled cheese. Who just knocked this thing over? 20 dollars an hour so that these guys can all just hang out and socialize. It seems reasonable. Natalie's mean. Yep, it's good. Looks like I'm all done here. That'll be 103 bucks. Sweet. Good job cleaning up the house. Took you five hours. You're a pretty crappy maid. What are you up to? I need to remember to right click. Right click. Uh oh, what's this all about? Be mean to someone. He's angry. Aggravating conversation yet again. He's sad. Shmoo, shmoo, shmoo. Sometimes wild, mad thoughts enter one's head. This is one of those times. So he wants to be mean to someone. Okay, go be mean to the mean woman. Uh, or just go provoke her. And then after that, you can uh, insult her face. <laughs> casual insults. The casual desuction. Uh, desuction? Discussion. <laughs> See, he went down even though he should be happy. He should be happy about the... Uh, the fact that he got to insult somebody. <laughs> what are they talking about babies for? Oh, jeez. So they all work within about 24 hours. <laughs> uh, try to calm down. No. You are still angry. Rant and rave to someone from being angry. Click on a sim and select rant and rave. Sounds great. More choices. Mean. Rant and rave. I'm not finding rant and rave in this list. You're not allowed to be mean to that person? Can you be mean to Jeff Worthington then? Oh, it's okay, so it's already popped it out for me. Yeah, go rant and rave at that guy. It sounds good. Let's check out their social relationships now. So we're looking at uh, Dawson's relationship here. They're still all acquaintances, but nothing major. This will be an interesting little real-world campaign here. Somebody keeps knocking this thing over. Are you doing that for fun? And wow, you can change your outfit quickly. Energized jog. I suppose we could let him do at least some things that are... that are positive. Let's have him... It says that he wants to do push-ups. Click on the ground and select do push-ups. No, he's going to go for a run. Bye-bye! See you later, Dawson. Maybe it would be better to uh, to tell him to go do something over here. Click on the ground and tell him to do push-ups. No. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. This is, um, you know, part one of hopefully many videos to this series of the real world. Um, I'm not sure if we're actually going to call it that or not, but it'll be an interesting development to see how these guys actually play together. So, thanks for watching everyone. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.